Bonjour! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Super happy to see you guys back. Um, I hope you had a good week, weekend, because it's Sunday uh, as I'm posting this video. I wanted to thank you again for all your support. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure that you click the subscribe button, you hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming. And it really helps my channel and know that I'm putting videos that uh, you like and content that you like. And if you have any questions, just make sure that you uh, post them uh, below in the comments. Thank you so, so much. So today, here we go. You see, I have the OM1 and I also have the 150-400. And I thought I'd do a video about how I carry uh, the uh, OM1 with the 60mm lens and the OM1 with the 150-400mm uh, lens. So, Let's get started. So you might have noticed when you are in the field that some cameras have those kind of little funny little circle uh, and thinking what on earth is this? Most of them are black and red, although I think they just released some that are completely black. Um, I don't know if they still have them, but um, Usually you'll see them red and black and those are peak design anchors. Um, I really, really like them because they make my life easier as a photographer and that's what I'm all about. I want things that are not complicated. I want to be able to grab my camera and take my camera strap out because sometimes it's just an inconvenience uh, when I'm doing macro. So I need to be able to do that in like a few seconds and with uh, normal straps, I can't. That's why after a lot of research, I adopted the Peak Design Anchors. And so right now you can see I have uh, two Peak Design Anchor right here and I have what they call a leash. And that's how I go out in the field shooting macro. Very, very easy. Take your camera, take the anchor, click, you hear that, and then you do the same with the other hand. You take that anchor and just click it here. See, really, really easy. And here you go, you have your camera, you're on the field. I see something and I'm thinking, oh, I need to have more flexibility. I don't want to, you know, even take my camera and then I have this that's hanging everywhere. It's a bother, so I can just keep my leash on and I just untie it that way by just pressing down and moving down. Just a few seconds and my camera is free. So big, big advantage. Now, let's switch lens. Well, that is a much bigger lens. Yes, that's the Magic 150-400. This is way, way bigger. And I don't use a leash because the leash is, I mean, I could, but it's not very comfortable. It's a little too small. So to carry uh, this lens and the OM-1, I use what they call a slide. And they have two different types of slide. They have the slide and the slide light. That's the one that I use, the light. So here it is. So you see, it's a little bit wider, so it's gonna be more comfortable when I carry my camera. And what you don't want to do when you're carrying such a big lens is tie your strap uh, to the body. That is not good. That's putting too much pressure and someone actually uh, one of you guys posted that on the comment because you saw me carrying um, the OM1 and I had attached the leech to the body and you really panic saying what are you doing? You shouldn't do this. But um, I have a capture clip right under and um, that's really what was carrying the camera and the leash was just a protection. But you're right. I probably should not have done that. So here on the 150-400, uh, you have a little anchor point and see I have also the Peak Design anchor and I can just keep my anchors uh, here directly. So that will carry uh, the weight of my lens and I'm not putting any pressure on the mount. So I'm reducing the risk of uh, damaging my mount. So this is how I carry my camera, uh, by having my uh, slide, my uh, strap attached 
to my legs, not the body. But to be honest with you, I've, I told you I have really bad back, so I don't like to hang um, you know, my camera and my lens on my shoulders. So I always have um, a belt with me. It's the Think Tank belt. It's great with the Peak Design capture clip and I can just attach it uh, to uh, the feet of the lens. Way easier than that's basically my waist who is helping me carry the load of the camera. And the leash is kind of like a security if anything happens. I don't see it happening because really I think Think Tank and Peak Designs are, you know, making some really, really uh, great gear. So I don't think that they fail, but just in case, that's just a security. And then when uh, I'm in the field like this and I'm shooting, that's also a security. I have my leash just in case something happens. I'm really clumsy, I told you guys, really, really clumsy. So sometimes I might kind of forget what I'm doing and this is great to just have that as a security for myself as well. So now, in terms of prices, those little anchors are super cheap. You can get four for $10, more or less. And then the leash, uh, I'll put the website so you can see the price. That's the that's price for the leash, that's the price for the uh, slide light, and that's the price for the slide. I'm really, really satisfied with this method of carrying things. It makes my life easier as a photographer. So um, that's it for me. I don't think I'll, I'll use another system um, because it's so convenient. So now I wanna know what you are using. How are you carrying your camera in the field? How are you securing your camera? Uh, do you know that you have to pay attention if you have the 150, 400 to not put uh, pressure on your mount? Um, and uh, yes, let me know in your comments what is your go-to system because I'm always curious to know what you are doing and I hope it will be a good discussion for today. Um, for next week, I'm not sure what I'll talk about. Maybe I'll teach you, I made some uh, postcards lately. So I was thinking maybe I should tell you about how to make some postcards. I don't know if you are interested in this. Um, I have uh, some for sale right now. I, I put a link below if you are interested. But um, if you have other ideas, just let me know uh, and maybe I can turn on my next video for you guys. And until next weekend, uh, happy shooting and see you soon. Au revoir.